Hi, I'm Kenneth Wajda. I'm a professional photographer here in Colorado. Welcome to another one of my weekly photo chats. So today I'm going to talk about how important it is and how difficult it is to go back. So you see an amazing thing. You're driving along at 70 miles an hour or 50 miles an hour or 35 miles an hour and you're maybe with somebody, maybe you're not, but you have your camera with you and you would love to shoot that, but it means pulling over, making a U-turn or finding a side road to pull off and make a U-turn there and then drive back. I was reading a book by Jay Maisel and he said, you cannot think. You cannot consider it. You cannot think about it. You just have to stop. Because the longer you go, the longer it becomes, I don't want to go that far back. And it's important to go back. I have two photographs that I recently did that are like that. One, I was leaving a friend's house and I'm driving back to my house and there are these cows. Now, a picture of a cow doesn't seem all that interesting. But these were no ordinary cows. It was like a corner of a barbed wire fence or uh, some kind of a fence. It might not be barbed wire. I'm not sure what they use for cows, but it was a wire fence. And these cows were all grouped, looking out at me as I passed. There must have been, a, felt like a dozen, and you can count them in the photo. I'll put it in the link. But there were a dozen cows, all neck to neck, staring out at me. And I'm like, what are you all waiting for? So I went up past them and then I turned back and I photographed them in two ways. I photographed them out my right window. I pulled over right next to them. And then I turned around again. This is a very rural street. There's no traffic at all. And I pulled over again on the opposite shoulder across from them and I shot out my driver's side window. And it's a sweet little photo. Some people have really commented that they really like it and I like it. It has really good dark brooding clouds in the background. You can see some of the boulder flat irons. And it was one of those photos that it was like, do I feel like going back? Should I go back for that? And again, the longer you think, the longer you wait, the distance gets further. Now it's twice as far to go back and twice as far to retrace your steps back to where you were thinking about it. There's no time to think. The answer is yes, go back. There was another example. I had driven up to this little town north of me to photograph some of the, just the backyards, the, the alleys. I was walking through alleys. I like this little town because the way the houses are built, alleys go between every house. And sometimes the alleys tell stories about the people. So as I was coming back, I'm out on a small highway, uh, four lane road and I'm driving back and there's a, a group of people with a camper and they're changing the tire on the camper. And the light is gorgeous. It's sunny, it's beautiful, it's blazing golden. And I'm like, I should shoot that. But I'm on the wrong side of the road. I need to be on their side of the road. I need to shoot it with a wide angle out my car window on the right side. So I just need to make a U-turn and come back. And it would be a good photo for Roy Stryker of ordinary life changing a flat. And I didn't go very far. I went down to the next intersection. I made a turn through that intersection, came back out, made a U-turn. And then just as I'm passing them, just out the car window, see what I get. And if I didn't get anything, I would have done it again. And it was perfect. And it's the kind of thing where Again, I talk about shooting out the car a lot. I, don't, I can't look out the window when I shoot, but I can hold the shutter down and I can drive and I'm pretty good at framing. I have an idea of where the 28 sees outside of a car window. And for those few seconds that I'm shooting, I get a frame that frames it right the way I want it or frames it in a way that I can use it if with a little cropping. Sometimes they're not always straight. And it's a fascinating look into a little scene that wouldn't have happened if I didn't turn around. Wouldn't have happened if I couldn't shoot while out a car window. 
and beautiful light, beautiful little moment. It's a fun group of people. I like the look of the people. So I'll put that in the show notes too. But the idea is both of those were examples. One was on a busy road, one was on a deserted road. Both of them needed me to turn around. And if I didn't turn around, those photos don't exist. Those people, those cows don't get photographed at all. And no one ever misses them because nobody misses the things you don't get. But you know there was an opportunity. And is it worth the opportunity? There's no time to think. The answer is yes. If you thought it, it's worth the opportunity. So go back. Every time, just go back. Go back right away because then it's a really short distance to get back on the road. And if you go too far, all you're doing is making a new reason why it's too far to go back. So go back. All right, that's today's photography talk. Check the links below. I'll be back next week. We'll talk photography. I welcome your comments. If you are enjoying this, hit the subscribe button. If you can support, hit the Patreon, and I'll talk to you next week. As always, here's the good light.